Hi guys, just wanted to give a quick video on how I painted my cold air intake for my 2003 Cobra. Um, starting out, it does have some imperfections, like just some of the uh, some of the dust or splatter was in there. Um, the seams, I could have filled them in, but didn't really want to, and I could have taken the texture out of it too, and maybe even sanded down the letters some. But I wanted to keep a little bit of the texture in it just to kind of give it, you know, a more cleaner feel to it. I mean, I could have sanded it down more, but what I did um, was I used 320, scuff it all down. Uh, you can use 220 first and then 320 to give it more of a flatter, more and that might bring more gloss out, but uh, it'll flatten this more. Um, I won't recommend doing 120 just because the scratches might be a little bit too deep, but you can do like a 220, then a 320, and then you can clean it with alcohol, or um, what I use is wax and grease remover. I think that really cleans it good. Uh, clean the whole thing inside out after you're done handling it, can put some trash bags or grocery bags or a uh, newspaper in there tape it up if you want um if you do get some overspray on the inside like i did uh you can do some mineral spirits afterwards or some paint thinner but i recommend doing it uh a day or two after you initially paint like are done and finished painting um but uh, what I used is, I used this adhesion promoter. I did two coats within 10 minutes of each other. So it was like, I let it tack up and it was a pretty hot day out today, you know, about 75, uh, sun was out. So I did, uh, about seven, eight minutes between each coat. So after I cleaned it, sanded, cleaned, uh, coat, wait seven minutes and then coat it again. And then seven minutes later, I use this, uh, you, you kinda wanna use, I mean, that's Rust-Oleum, that's due for color. This is VHT. Uh, try and get all from one manufacturer. I know a lot of people recommend that, companies recommend that, and it's just because their products work well with their products. Um, I've done this setup before, it's worked out for me. Um, I just had this primer laying around. I'm not too picky with my primer, uh, especially on just miscellaneous parts, but, I put two good dust coats on it, um, hold it about six inches away, uh, two dust coats, and then a nice thicker coat just to make sure it was all cleaned up. Um, I waited about 15, 20 minutes after that, you know, it was really dry at that point, um, and I sanded it with 800 grit, which if you want, uh, you can get some high build epoxy primer and do like a nice heavy coat or a dust coat, then a heavy coat, then weigh about 20, 25 minutes, sand it down with 600, and that'll flatten the surface out even more. And then you can prime it again, you know, clean it, prime it, and then hit it again, and then use 800 that time. And that'll give it a really clean, fine look to it. I wasn't too worried about this because I mean I'm not a perfectionist in any way. I mean you can see that I'm I'm okay with this. It's white. The car is white. Seems cool enough to me. Okay, after you clean it again, after you use the 800, clean it again, and then spray uh, two coats of this, two dust coats, and let me see if I can do this. Sorry about that. Um, you really like to get a spray nozzle that's like this. So you can twist it and spray it another way. See the, it's a horizontal pattern right now. I can flip it. Oh, I better flip it. Oh, am I gonna flip it? There you go. To a vertical pattern. And what you can do also, if they have like little hoops or holes in them, you can make a loop out of some MIG wire if you have a welder, or you can use a fishing string, fishing line. Um, and what I would do 
is if you can't and if you're painting it like this you might want to get one of those you want to sweep it across so i'm just going to use this one for example you're going to sweep it across so you start right here and you end right here and the reason being is you don't want a lot of paint build up on on it so you don't want to have like a sag right here and a sag right here um if you do you can wet sand with like 800 grit again you know after it's properly dried go over the whole thing um <coughs> sorry about that uh so you want to go like start right here end right here and that's going to also wrap around and cover a little bit more for you uh you want to go and do like this way and then your second coat should be the other way so that's why i recommend uh the switch pattern on these so if you have it sitting like this you can paint it like this too without tilting the can you want to shake all these cans for about a minute before you use them make sure they're you know in a room temperature room before because you don't want cold paint you'll get spiders um i did two coats you know get rid of all all my tiger striping and whatnot and then i just went over the whole thing with a nice heavy coat and i noticed i had like at a light spot like right under here and like over in here and then i think it was like right in here some so i just kind of went over went over it again and you can from there if you let dry for about an hour dry to the touch you can use some duplicolor clear it's not real clear but um you can give it a more glossier look but yeah that's just i thought i'd share that i couldn't really find a good video i just wanted to see how other guys were doing it so i just wanted to make a video just to help some people out if you're struggling with it but thanks for watching